Hello, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Stringfellow reading Zen Shorts by John Muth. There are three short stories. I will be reading you one. Michael, there's a bear outside, said Carl. A what? called Michael. A bear. He's really big. And he's in the backyard. What's he doing? Michael asked. He's sitting. He has an umbrella, said Carl. An umbrella? By the time the boys got outside, their sister Addie was already talking with him. I'm sorry for arriving unannounced, said the bear. The wind carried my umbrella all the way from my backyard to your backyard. I thought I would retrieve it before it became a nuisance. He spoke with a slight panda accent. Michael introduced himself. Then Addie introduced Carl because Carl was shy around bears he didn't know. And this is how Addie, Michael, and Carl met Stillwater. The next day, Michael went to see Stillwater. Here I am, Stillwater called from the tree. Can I come up? asked Michael. If you are careful, said Stillwater. What if we could fly, said Michael. We could cast shadows on clouds, said Stillwater. But what if we fell, said Michael. If we fell, we might break something, said Stillwater. That would be bad, said Michael. Maybe, said Stillwater. Maybe, asked Michael. The Farmer's Luck There was once an old farmer who had worked his crops for many years. One day, his horse ran away. Upon hearing the news, his neighbors came to visit. Such bad luck, they said sympathetically. Maybe, the farmer replied. The next morning, the horse returned, bringing with it two other wild horses. Such good luck, the neighbors exclaimed. Maybe, replied the farmer. The following day, his son tried to ride one of the untamed horses, was thrown off, and broke his leg. Again, the neighbors came to offer their sympathy on his misfortune. Such bad luck, they said. Maybe, answered the farmer. The day after that, military officials came to the village to draft young men into the army to fight in a war. Seeing that the son's leg was broken, they passed him by. Such good luck, cried the neighbors. Maybe, said the farmer. I get it, said Michael. Maybe good luck and bad luck are all mixed up. You never know what will happen next. Yes, Stillwater agreed. You never know. And so, boys and girls, that's my part reading aloud from Zen Shorts by John Muth. It's the middle story of three small parables that Stillwater tells to Addie, Michael, and Carl. If you like the book, I hope you can find it at your local library and read it yourself this summer. I chose this story to read to you because I think it matches what's happened to us this year. Maybe the coronavirus and us having to learn virtually with some good luck and some bad luck all mixed up. You just never know what's going to happen. But either way, I'm so very glad that I got to spend the school year with you as long as we did. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful summer. Stay healthy and zen.